Hello and welcome to Module 6 of BID 515 Technology for Managers here at Midland University on the topic of business intelligence. Business intelligence is founded upon the principles of good data management. First, we must understand and appreciate data at its core. There are two types of data, transactional and analytical, with four traits of the value of data. When the value of data is first a data type, is it transactional or analytical? Transactional meaning that it's very straightforward information at a point in time, such as customer order information, a purchase, etc. Analytical is more in-depth data that can be combined with other views of data or variables to get deeper into analyzing trends or behavior for business decisions. Data timeliness is all about the timing we're going to get the data, how often it's collected, how often it's assimilated and ready and usable for our business analysts. Next is data quality. Has the data been cleansed? Has the data been formatted and structured in an ability for us to understand it and read it and use it for analytics? And finally, data governance. Data governance is a big part of business intelligence. It's a part that really bridges between the foundations of managing data to the use of it for business intelligence. We need to oversee the data being collected, how often it's used, and the quality of it. Should it be data that we keep collecting or not, or should we change our sources if the data is not where we want it to be? All of these are very foundational to spark advanced business intelligence. Mm -hmm. Taking a look at the data types again between transactional and the analytical, first transactional data encompasses all the data contained within a single business process or unit of work. And its primary purpose is to support the performing or daily operational tasks. As you can see on the left side of the quadrant, it could be an airline ticket, a sales receipt, a packing slip, an order ID as an example as well. But on the right side, it's more statistical in nature. Analytical data encompasses all organizational data, and its primary purpose is to support the performing of managerial analysis and tasks, such as sales projections, trend analysis, the future growth. It's taking data but looking at it for patterns and trends to truly analyze the data for further use of making data-driven decisions. Mm -hmm. One key component of business intelligence is ensuring the right area to store the information and collect it and use it in a timely fashion. This is where a relational database or a database management system, DBMS, comes in. This allows users to create, read, and update and delete data in a relational database. The database is just the collection of data. It's the storage of it. It's all, for example, in business, information about our customers, orders, products, distributors, and others. But in the DBMS, the, the kind of intermediary between the business user and the database, is the management of it, where you're looking for specific information. It triggers a communication to find out what you're looking for. Perhaps you're looking to get new customer information, enter a new product data. It allows us to both read, update, but also delete records we no longer need. It allows us to really understand how we can manage our data from a long-term usage. A lot of the time what happens in data governance is decisions are made, and then we go down to the tactical level of cleaning up our data in a database management system. When we get to a point also in business intelligence to truly use it after we manage our data and we're ready to provide insights on the business through analytics, business intelligence dashboards are very important and data visualization. This is just an example of a mock-up dashboard. Your dashboard can be depends on what you want to look at. But a business visualization a dashboard is a track tracking mechanism that allows us to look at corporate metrics such as critical success factors and KPIs or key performance indicators and include advanced capabilities such as interactive controls, allowing users to manipulate the data for analysis. One of the things, especially from a business intelligence perspective is that we wanna provide executive dashboards and reports so they are salient to the point that gives us an insight on the business, but also allows us to drill down further if needed. Sometimes we start with a current place and time of insight and we wanna look, look further to find out what are the underlying causes, the whys and the hows to the overall business trend that we're seeing. But data visualization is very important because in the real-time sense of decision-making that we have to do as business managers, we need to make sure we don't spend a lot of time diving into the data as much as getting it to a format like this that we can look at and make effective decisions in a real-time fashion. One of the other concepts we look at this week is blockchain. Now, blockchain is an emerging technology that is being used for a variety of different business purposes. It did start out as cryptocurrency, 
more of a finance technology, but we're looking at it how it can support supply chain, marketing, uh, and other elements of business that we can use this technology for. So it's very emerging. Blockchain is a distributed computing technology. It processes and manages algorithms across many machines in a computing environment. What allows it is it allows a decentralized format. It really collects the information from a variety of sources and allows us to distribute it in a very unified fashion. I do encourage you to read further on this in the material provided in the course this week. This concludes our overview of module six and thank you so much for your time.